Hello and welcome into another video. Another video without my ugly face on, you'd be glad to know. Right, anyway, the Goodman's LED screen mirror projector, which I bought about six or seven months ago from B&M stores in the UK for £99, has been a very good projector. Up until now, I've noticed some dust issues on the inside of the lens. Also, I've seen a massive, what I think and can only be described as a massive cat ear on the right hand side so it's sort of doing me nothing and i thought you know what it's about time i open this up and had a look inside and clear all the dust and clear all well whatever's in there so today's video is just going to be an opening and hopefully a cleaning of this projector right okay so just before we crack on and to save time i haven't hyperlapsed the usual opening and taking the screws out there's five screws one two three four and there's one there five so without further ado let's get the top off what have we got here oh some sort of plug right so that looks like the leds or the touch yeah there's a touch screen on top a touch pad there on the top like so we'll get short of that for now we don't need it right so what have we got um we've got a lot of electronics i tell you that um so this will need to come out won't it so i'll have to possibly take these come off yet come off yeah we'll, we'll take that off and we'll take this off maybe I don't know if that needs to come off. I think all the mirrors are in here. Now this projector, as I've said, was £99. Uh, it's not the best projector out there, but for the money, it's quite good. Uh, I've looked at other projectors because I was thinking of upgrading, to be honest with you, but they've got like things like dust filters in them and stuff like that. This one, I don't think has, in all honesty, so... Oops, just dipped the camera there with my glasses. Um, I need to get this front plate off. Okay. Uh, looks like there's some screws in there. Yeah, there's one screw. And two screws here. Yeah. Here we go. Right, so these screws once fell inside. Keep them aside. And that's the reason why this thing is so bloody loud. That looks like one fan. That looks like a fan as well, so that's why it is rather loud. Keep that aside, get that one out. Righty ho, uh, let me see if I can just change this camera angle a bit. Right, okay, uh, let's just discard that for a minute. Um, I'm going to tackle this. Does that screw out, does it, maybe? Oops. Well, I didn't want that to happen. Anyway, <laughs> that's the lens, as you can see. Bloody shit myself then. Right, so inside there, hello, can you see me? Yes. Oh yeah, you can see quite a lot of dust. Can I just zoom that in? Yeah. Wowza. Jesus. Now this projector has had some heavy usage uh, for the past good couple of months. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I was going to use this little rocket blower yeah, just get zoomed out there I was going to use that but I think I'm best scraping it and then I might just use that I don't think I'm going to take the whole thing apart obviously I'll give uh, this a bit of a clean on the inside as well although that doesn't look too bad in all fairness like I think the main thing is on the 
it's on the mirrors inside so um, I'm just gonna go and try and find something to sort of scrape this dust out uh, and I'll be right back right okay so I've had a look around and the only thing I can find really that will probably get this dust out is the good old Dyson portable hoover so I'm gonna stick this in there but just before I do that what I've done is I have taken off this little bit of strip thing here and if you pull it up you will find that it looks like originally I thought it was maybe an LED but I don't know it, it's it's something to do with the lighting and if you look inside here if I can just get the light round um, the keystone thing what you what you do let's see if I just let me just get this light a little bit better angled um, so basically the little flippy is it the keystone the flippy mirror there there it is an action there covered covered in dust right so um I'm just going to whack this in and then just basically just hope for the bloody best on this one. It's looking a bit better there's some actual dust that's settled and seems to have stuck i'll just get the the light around there and i'll just zoom in and show you so you can see there on the actual keystone mirror so it looks like i'm gonna have to go in and um remove it manually should we say so i'm gonna have to try and find some sort of brush or maybe cloth i don't know probably probably a cloth better um, what I really should do is take all this off, but you know, I'm just it's it, to me it's too much hard work, and I just want to get the the hair off it and a bit of the dust off the front. So yeah, I'd be happy with that anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and find the cloth, and I shall be right back. Right, and what we'll also do before we pop the lens back on, we'll just give it a little bit of air and a little wipe with a glasses wipe. After all, they are optical wipes, so I'm assuming this will work really well as I say you shouldn't have to do this but you know I'm assuming at some point when you're sat there and you're watching the telly or you're playing games and the screen goes sort of black and all you can see is a little cat here because it was a cat here it was me it was me Turkish Angora cat I don't know how I got in there I really don't know but anyway that's another story yeah I mean some people can put up with it I've got slight OCD so yeah there is a time and a place for sort of like things like that so it'll just be like yeah I can't sort of cope looking at it anymore so I just had to get it out I've got the hair out and I've got some of the dust out and mainly all of the dust out should we say it's just finalising this off now looks pretty good one last final blow in there I was going to regrease this actually, but it's got quite a lot of grease on it, so I'll just pop it straight back in. Right, okay, as Kylie and Jason once sang, now we are back together forever and ever. Our love. It's oh so true and I forgot the rest of the words anyway right so we're all cleaned hopefully anyway uh, we're all sort of wiped down now is the test to uh, darken the room and turn this thing on hang on wasn't it and my love for you is oh so true my love hang on back together my love is oh so true and what i have with you is especially for you yeah anyway look you're never gonna be a big star none of us are it's just a dream for you maybe but we could have done it right so just before i do show you the finished article the items used are a rocket blower 
a duster, some glasses wipes, and a Dyson. Right, so just before I turn on, there is the projector. Going to be projected on that wall. So I'm going to turn off the studio lights. When I say studio lights, it's not a studio, it's just studio light. Studio lights onto there, and we'll see if my little experiment has worked. Right, okay. So here we go. Projector on. Now straight off I can see a significant improvement there. That is a lot, lot better. As you can see before where the cat air was, it is no longer. And all those little bits that you've seen on the screen are no longer. This is a blemish in the wall by the way, so just in case you can see a spot there. That is a blemish on the wall. Um, Right, so, let me just get that in focus a bit more. It's hard to get this friggin' level. But look at that. Not a mark on that screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook up the... Actually, I think it's hooked up already. Let me just turn this on. Is it? Yeah, the A500 Mini. So we'll just wait for that to boot up. Is it plugged in? Ah, oh, hang on, I've got it in the wrong HDMI, I think. menu button um, source that was it right okay so or is it in one I don't know I've done something slightly wrong here you put it in one Go back to source, go up. There we go. Now if I can just deal with that a bit. That is pretty much perfect. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this light off. Just give you a true sort of find a switch. There we go. Yeah. You may see a bit of red. I do apologise, I am still on air, so there's me on air light. But yeah, that is pretty decent. Certainly a lot better than what it was before. Obviously there's a little bit of messing around to do with the keystone and the sort of like, you know, focus. But that ultimately is pretty spot on pretty spot on righty ho folks as always thanks for watching and i shall catch you in the next video nice shooting son what's your name Siri.